In this segment, we head to the Suffolk Executive Airport for a weekend full of family events, including Jumping for a Purpose and the Virginia Regional Festival of Flight. The sky was filled with parachutes and veterans for the annual Jumping for a Purpose event. Founded by Wounded Wear in conjunction with Skydive Suffolk, soldiers who served our country had the opportunity to go skydiving. Let's just say the morale was very high. So Jumping for a Purpose, we've been doing it for four years, so this is the fifth one. We did two in one year once. It is an amazing event designed to empower and motivate our wounded warriors to live greatly and overcome their injuries or our families of the fallen to overcome that loss. It's all about living greatly and getting back out there. And then it's also an opportunity to bring the community together, to meet these heroes, these people who fought for our freedom, and for them to be inspired and understand that this is what built our nation. For a lot of us as wounded warriors or families of the fallen, there's a period of time where you tend to lose yourself. You know, here you went, you went from a a warrior or a soldier, sailor, airman, marine on the battlefield, and suddenly in an instant, your life changes forever. Uh, you're faced with these catastrophic injuries that now you're looking at years to recover. Your life as you knew it is now changed. And it's, you have to think about where am I gonna go from here? Am I ever gonna be able to do this again? And that's even more compounded by the individuals who have lost limbs, who really devastating injuries. It's no different from our families of the fallen. Suddenly there they are living their lives and they lose a husband, a father, a son, a daughter. And they're like, where do I go from here? This event brings them all together and it makes them step onto that plane and get out and do something totally extreme. And for most people, even me, every time I jump, there's a little level of fear. You would be crazy if you didn't have that. And you get on that ramp and you look out in the great unknown and the great blue and you step off. And that's where you start living greatly and that's where life begins again. It's where you understand I'm still alive. I can still get out there. I can have fun. I can recognize the sacrifice that both I've made and my family has made. But I can get out there and live greatly. Overcome. Skydive Suffolk has been phenomenal. We've been working with them for four years. Every time it's been a great event, they bend over backwards to support us, working with the city, all the permitting, getting the right group of guys in here that have the experience level to jump our wounded warriors and the families because, you know, we need safety above everything else. And uh, these guys are true professionals. I'm honored to work with them. If somebody's looking for a place to come skydive, this is it. Came out today to watch this fine festivities and support the wounded warriors. Uh, you know, like I say, without those guys, we wouldn't have freedom. And we just, you know, great that they sacrifice what they have in their life for us. Oh, it's, to me, it's just about everything. I mean, I lost a brother in Vietnam, so it, it touches home to me. And these people are so wounded. I mean, us that get up every morning without any aches and pains and, and see so, what some of these people have been through and what they have sacrificed, it's just amazing to me. I was actually talking to the owner of uh, Skydive Suffolk last week at work, and I asked him that. And he, I said, why would you want to jump out of a perfectly good airplane? He said, because the door is open. <laughs> well, I came from uh, Spanaway, Washington, up near Seattle. And then, uh, well, it's, this, this jump uh, that Wounded Wear puts on, the Jumping for a Purpose, it's, it's empowering, it's invigorating, you know, it keeps me from being stagnant. <laughs> Well, I was a uh, EOD, uh, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, wounded in uh, Iraq in 2007. This is this is an amazing thing. This helps people overcome fear, and you know, it shows you what you can really do, and you can inspire people. Being you know, a stumpy girl jumping out of a plane. <laughs> oh no, I'm wicked excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I, last night when I went down, I was giggling the entire way down. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. I would say first. First off, they got to get it out. They have to deal with, you know, their injuries, be it mental, physical, or emotional. But after that, you need to get out there. Don't don't just sit at home, you know. Don't just lock yourself away. Live. <laughs> you, you gave, and you've got a second chance from that. Live.
the Virginia Regional Festival of Flight flew into Suffolk, bringing in planes and exhibits from all over the country. There were activities for adults and children, including a car show and flight simulators. New this year was the traveling exhibit featuring the legendary Tuskegee Airmen. Well, our purpose is to evaluate uh, aircraft that fly in that wish to be judged on uh, the quality of their workmanship if they're home built, for example. We judge aircraft that are home built, they're either built by plans or they come in a kit. We also judge antique airplanes, which are from 1903 to 1945, classic airplanes from 46 to 55. Contemporary airplanes, what most people are familiar with, uh, that are manufactured between 1956 and 1970. We also have uh, aircraft judging for the warbirds, uh, World War I, World War II airplane, and even modern aircraft to stay, which to be judged. When you look at the attention to detail, the craftsmanship, that drives you closer to a 10. Some people say there is no pers perfection, you can never get a 10, but there are a lot of people that really push close to that. And just things that you can see here that people can do in their garages and workshops and basements is just incredible. The kind of detail that they aspire to and achieve on a daily basis. And it, and it proves it when they can fly those things from their home to here. When you look at the past of aviation, it kind of gives you an indication of where you're headed. It gives you a, a context and a perspective for the age of flight and where we came from and the very, what we would consider very primitive and rudimentary thing, but it was the thing for the day. It was almost like astronauts to when we were growing up. It's something new. So uh, it's just a great uh, venue for people to come together, all different walks of life, young and old alike, and people just have a great interest in aviation and the technology that drives it.
Well, this is great. We're at the Festival of Flight in Suffolk, Virginia. We've got our rare P-51C model Mustang along with our Rise Above traveling exhibit. And this is a great time to try to get out and expose the public to the history of the Tuskegee Airmen and try to inspire a new generation. Today has been kind of light on Saturday. The, the air show is tomorrow when I will be flying and demonstrating the uh, aircraft behind us, the P-51C model Mustang. But it's been very receptive from a uh, crowd that likes what we have and they're enjoying the good weather. There are lots of other vendors here, other aircraft here. And we're just happy to be a part of the show. Thanks for watching this segment of Suffolk Headlines.